Hi beautiful, welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I am going to do a full face of e.l.f. products. Now, I have accumulated quite a few stuff from e.l.f. Basically, most of their newish products, well, at least, uh, at least it's new to us. So, I purchased majority of my e.l.f. products from Kmart. And the rest are from Priceline when I was over in Australia. So we are going to start off with the Moisture Lock Primer. Now I did purchase three different primers, one being this one. And since I have not moisturized my skin, I've only put the oil. It smells like a typical moisturizer. And that one has got hyaluronic acid and it helps lock in hydration. For smooth moisturized canvas that perfectly prep that's perfectly prepped for makeup it feels quite thick on my skin and it does have um, a familiar scent to it it's like one of the baby lotion products I'm not sure what it is but that actually felt quite good on my skin my skin is quite dry at the moment but on the t-zone area it's quite oily primer. this is the poreless putty primer and i've seen nikia joy um, review this primer and this is in universal sheer and this perfecting putty primer smooths the skin and preps it with square lane to help moisturize and grip makeup for all day wear the velvety texture glides over the skin smoothing imperfections for a poreless effect so i am going to apply this on my t-zone area and on the areas where i have enlarged pores so this is what it looks like and ooh, that actually feels very smooth to the touch and i'm going to pop that on the center of my face it doesn't feel very um high in silicone and also the fact that it kind of just smooths my pores straight away that says a lot for brows i did notice that elf came out with new brow products so i have here the ultra precise brow pencil and this one is in the shade neutral brown and this oh, this is what it looks like it's very thin it has a very thin nib which is great for precise hair hair like stroke and also it comes with a spoolie and i can't remember how much that costs I'm pretty sure it's around $12 New Zealand and this one is the Wow Brow and this is in the shade shade deep brown and this is the volumizing fiber gel so I'm going to quickly fill in my brows and then I'm going to share with you guys my thoughts The pencil is quite hard and it felt a bit waxy but it's not like creamy where it will slide off. It filled in my brows pretty good and this is how much product you get which I reckon is pretty decent especially for a very affordable brow pencil. It's very precise. The only problem that I have is that the shade definitely does not match me. I'm not sure how many shades they have. In the Kmart that I went to, they only had this, which I assume to be universal. But obviously, this is in neutral brown, so I'm not sure if they have any other darker shade. It's pretty quick too and blendable. The spoolie is great. Honestly, having a spoolie in a brow pencil is always a good thing. So I'm going to now try out the e.l.f. Brow Well. And oh my god, the packaging is so cute. So this is what it looks like. And then here you see there's a bit of fiber in the wand. And hopefully this darkens my brow because at the moment my brows look so washed out. I personally still prefer the Essence Make Me Brow Gel just because of the texture and also how it fills in my brows. But for a quick fix and a very affordable product, this would do. It's not miraculous. Again, I feel like the shade is not the right tone for me. So I think I am going to go over 
my brows using the eyeshadow palette which is called Opposites Attract and I'm just gonna quickly pick this shade almost this shade right here to kind of correct the tone of my brows and then I will be right back with my foundation on because I don't have any foundation from L. I was able to salvage my brows but it's still looking a little, a little bit warmer than I would hope for and I also applied my foundation off camera because I don't have any L foundation as I said before. So for concealer, I am going to use two shades. I have medium beige which I mainly use and I recently picked up medium sand which is a lot lighter but mind you these two oxidize I actually like to use medium medium beige as my eye primer as well because I've noticed that this concealer is water resistant so whenever I do have a really long day the eyeshadow stay stays put so I'm going to dot this shade on the inner parts of my eyes where I typically get really dark and then on the outer part I'm going to use medium sand just to highlight a little bit and I'm going to bring that on the lid as well that will act as our primer What I love about this concealer is that it's very long lasting and even though it has a matte finish, it doesn't really um, settle into the fine line so it doesn't make my under eye very wrinkly because I do have quite a bit of a dry under eye and a bit of fine line. So for the eye powder, oh my god this is an OG product this is the high definition under eye setting powder i do believe that they repackage this powder and they made it into like this kind of container which is really good but way back in the day i bought this this is actually my third one this is a very nice powder because it has a little bit of like reflex and it reminds me of the nas light reflecting powder i saw the repackage and i i do have a feeling that they might have reformulated the product as well on iher so i might do like a online purchase of other elf products that i wanted to try but this instantly brightens the under eye it gives a nice luminosity on the eyes it makes you look wide awake and as you can see it mattified but it left like a really good sheen on the skin without making it too greasy if you look at it from the um, container it would have bits of flecks of glitter but it doesn't really show on your skin it kind of just blends seamlessly the only annoying thing i hate about this product is the packaging because if you use this every day it's li literally going to disappear in like two weeks so you don't have a lot of use time another powder that i do love is this mineral booster and this is the corrective yellow they did repackage this powder as well and it comes in like a big container that looks like this and this one is straight up bright yellow i love using this powder when i want to correct the tone of my foundation because it's yellow so it neutralizes the redness or the peachiness that i have on the foundation i'm feeling very mattified actually so unfortunately i did not pick up the new primer infused bronzer because we only have one shade in the kmart that i went to and i think on the website they had about two or three shades i'm not quite sure but literally that shade which is called sunkiss something will not show up on my skin tone so I will quickly just bronze up my skin and then apply a little bit of blush and then we're going to move on to finish up the rest of the I went a little bit ham on the cheek department but oh well I've been loving the kind of like flush look recently. This is the metallic flare highlighter and this one is in the shade rose gold and this is what the highlighter looks like. Honestly the packaging is has upgraded like it doesn't look 
as cheap as you would hope it to be so I'm trying to swatch the highlighter it feels quite hard to the touch and I find that it's somewhat sheer like you can't even see on my hand but it's right there so I'm curious to know how it will apply on my skin so I'm going to use a brush swirl swirl my brush around Oh, that's a really pretty highlight. I love how it packs a punch, but at the same time, it's quite buildable where if you want it to look very metallic, you could definitely achieve that. And brush applies a lot better as opposed to you swatching it by your hand. So don't get deceived by that. This is honestly really good for e.l.f. Now, the only complaint I have on the latest packaging on elf is that they don't put a lot of information on the back of their product all you get is the sticker what it's called and what shade it is and that's about it which sucks because i would want to know what it does like all the information is in the packaging but nonetheless the product itself is great so now i am going to just quickly spritz my face so this is the elf oil control primer mist it's supposed to be a primer so this is an alcohol and silicone free primer mist which preps the skin for smooth makeup application so it says right here that you could actually put this on top of your makeup as well so that's what i'm going to do and when you shake it it has that hole i want to know oh the mister is terrible it's like huge dots as you can see on my face and it didn't even like do a lot yeah i don't like that mister at all that's terrible so moving along we are going to finally try the opposites at track now this recently arrived at kmart i would say about a month ago which is pretty pretty late but everything else we always get late so i'm not surprised so at the back it has instructions on the three different looks that you can try and that's about it and then there's like a photo in here and this is what it looks like i love the fact that there's names on the palette going to swatch the shade called warm Oh, that is so pigmented. So I'm going to swatch two mattes, or actually three mattes, and then two shimmers. This is warm. This is smooth. Smooth is that dark brown that I tried to use for my brows. It looks a little bit patchy for when you swatch it. And then this shade is called Sassy, which is a nice peachy shade. And this one is called Spicy. And that one is called Clever. And I'm going to pick up the shade called Saucy. So it has a little bit of kickback, kickback on the pan. It has like a more mustard undertone. And oh my gosh, this reminds me of the that one shade that I tried from the Urban Decay Honey eyeshadow palette. Uh, this shade is so pigmented and it blends pretty easily elf you know the very first product that i tried from elf is their eyeliner liquid eyeliner i used to own the eyeshadow quad that they sell in the white packaging i am going to try and build it up and i'm going to dip in the shade warm same brush again oh my gosh look at that pickup so i'm going to mainly focus this on the outer v and go to the crease a little bit I want this inner part to be a little bit defined because we're going to put shimmer now I lost a little bit of that saucy shade so I'm going to pick up this teeny tiny brush and blend the outer V with a little bit of saucy because I want that to peak through the and I am going to go back to warm once again 
and time to smoke it up a little bit my gosh i have not done a smoky eye in forever so i'm going to try and dip into smooth which is that cool tone brown and i am going to pop that right there really want to know how this eyeshadow will perform so I think I am going to use a brush to pick it up and then we'll go over it with our finger and I'm going to pick up the shade called Clever which has a lilac kind of undertone mind you my brush is dry and that shade builds up really nice going to go back to that brush that we use without no product and I'm just gonna smooth over it I'm going to pick up a little bit of low-key which is this bright shade and I think I am going to put that on like here maybe oh it has like a pink undertone which goes quite well with the eyeshadow and for the lower lash line I'm just gonna use a little bit of saucy I'm not gonna put like the darker shade because it will close my eyes and then a little bit of smooth just on this outer corner for the lower lash line I am going to pick up the shade clever just to put that here and then low key which is that pink undertone cool and for the inner corner highlight I am going to go back to the highlighter that we used before which is the this one right here and I'm just gonna pick up a brush and underneath the brow bone highlight going to apply the lip gloss and this one is the plumping lip gloss in mocha twist this is what it looks like this is probably not the right shade for my look but oh well oh it smells so good and ladies and gentlemen here is my final makeup look Overall, I really love how the look turned out. My favorite part of the makeup is honestly the eyeshadow palette because dude, come on, it's $25 and it is just pigmented, it performs great. Second favorite would have to be the gloss. Now, I do feel a little bit of like a minty feeling, but it's not extreme to the point where it feels uncomfortable. It goes away in like a few seconds, but I love the look that it gave on my lips it definitely made it a little bit fuller another favorite would have to be the concealer because it's just a good concealer I do hope you enjoyed this video you can find all the elf products from both Kmart and iHerb.com please make sure to subscribe to my channel for more updates and I'll catch you on the next one bye